Thank you to Benjamin Bagley, PTTS, Rabuddy Bub, No Macality, Aiden B, Pollux, G4J, Mercury, Cruel Zombie, Frey Girl, Distance Nerding, Kyber Cave Productions, and so many others for your support. K Peo Tioke K E Taiba Wapa K T O Sho Tariso Tatiopa Ta K Ka Wapa O Sho K Al Petio Petio Taka K K O Tike K Ope K Uriso K K K O O Tikehe Bake Ke Uriso. Hello and welcome to Common Critique. Today we're looking at the language of not so merry men, Thessivala. This language is a bit different from the others we've covered in this series in that it originates not from the low fantasy world of Magnius, but from an alternate history project about a fictional nation and its troubled past. In light of that fact, let's get into it. Now, Fessivala is the language of the native people of the eponymous Festival Islands, referred to as the Bao people. This group was an isolated subset of Pacific Islanders with roots in prehistoric Asia and Australia, though have since migrated further east. The name of the islands even comes from the term for the language, interpreted by European explorers who thought Fessivala sounded an awful lot like festival. So, for a language that's supposed to be related to other Pacific and Polynesian tongues, how well does it reflect this linguistic heritage? Well, for that, let's look at it. Again, I am so sorry for how I'm about to butcher these phonemes. P, b, t, d, k, k, p, b, t, d, k, k, th, s, sh, h, m. N, v, v, r. Yeah, that's not how you do a rhotic tap. Um, again, I'm sorry. <clears throat> anyway, uh, <laughs> this doesn't sound particularly Polynesian at all. In fact, let's look at a somewhat recognizable Polynesian language, Hawaiian, to see if it reflects this phonology. But before that, let's look at the vowels. E, e, u. U, e, e, o, o, e, a, a. Yeah. Why are half the vowels romanized as diphthongs? This is like an English speaker's first attempt at conling, and yet this is my ninth language. <sighs> anyway, now that we have all the phonemes, I'll go down a list of how Fesivala and Hawaiian phonology differ. Hawaiian does not have d any aspirated consonants. Th, s, sh, or any rhotic that's not in free variation with other phonemes. There are two interesting similarities, though, that show I at least had a cursory knowledge of Polynesian phonology. The first is the labiodental approximant. While this doesn't exist in Hawaiian, the sounds va and wa are in free variation with each other, so the depiction of this with the labiodental approximant is at least reasonable? The other is the occurrence of long and short vowels as these are found in Hawaiian and other Polynesian languages, though most of these also have schwa as a variation. So overall, these phonemes are not consistent with other languages in the family, and sound more like a Romance or a Germanic language than a Polynesian or East Asian one. But maybe things will get better in the... The first thing to go over is phonotactics. The language has a subject, verb, object word order and a CV syllable shape. Once again, there was some understanding of Polynesian languages with the syllable shape, but definitely not with the word order. Looking properly at the grammar, we can see the language has romantic-esque verb conjugations, and similarly abnormal tenses with distinction between perfective and imperfective actions. Surely this next section will be better. The vocabulary at least makes sense with the rest of the language, but is in no way reminiscent of other Pacific languages. Take a drink for every time I've said that. Uh, actually, don't, because you'd probably die! Anyway, as we've been doing this season, let's break down a short sentence. The person saw the animal. First we take out our definite articles, as Fessivala does not have them. 
So the sentence becomes, person, see, past perfective, animal. Then we translate everything, so ba, ha, past perfect, sho. And finally, we add the past perfective marker to ha, so the final sentence is ba, ha, pa, sho. Let's just get this over with and move on to the... If you can't tell from my exasperated tone, I really don't like this language. It fails several of its goals as a naturalistic derivative language and is way too similar to European languages to ever be a feasible native language for any group of Pacific Islanders in its early form. The culture was certainly influenced by Europe, but even that can't account for the amount of leaps needed to justify its role as an aboriginal Polynesian language. Therefore, this goes near the bottom, flanked by Akaea and Arku. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Join me next time for the series finale of Conlang Critique, looking at my newest language, the tongue of the first men, Su-U.